This is Deb Height, and this is Chamber Chat, brought to you by the Emmitsburg Chamber of Commerce. Today we're speaking with Jeff Rouse. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you. Nice to have you here today. Good to be here. Yeah, I was glad you dropped into town this week. Um, Jeff is um, the producer of the Our Story um, show that we have on Channel 3 TV. It runs at 8.30 in the morning and 5.30 in the afternoon, and you may have seen it. And we're going to talk to Jeff about this story and the other things that he has uh, going on with Our Story Productions. So why don't you tell us first about um, what we see on our channel TV? Well, our, our program, as you said, is Our Story, Small Town Living at its Best. Uh, a group of people from the Fairmont Blue Earth Truman area in Minnesota decided we wanted to do a show that better uh, presented our small towns that we live in in the Midwest. Because uh, these are, in our opinion, kind of the forgotten towns, the towns that get ignored. And there's actually a lot going on and a lot of things happening in all these towns, and Emmitsburg is definitely no exception to that. Uh, your, your towns are small towns or anybody under 12,000 people? Uh, usually under 15,000. We've had a few requests at about 17, 18,000, and we are considering it. But we want primarily, in fact, entirely small towns. Uh, we do air our show in the larger communities like uh, the Twin Cities and Mankato and Rochester and different places like that but we do not cover them. We only spotlight towns that are in populations of, say, 15,000 or less. Okay. Well, tell us about the format of your story, of your, of your show. You know, some of us look at it and we say, oh my goodness, how silly. <laughs> That's what, exactly. <laughs> well, that, that is very true. Uh, our program is, uh, is very quirky, in our opinion, quirky and entertaining. We wanted to develop something that was a little bit more unique than what you normally saw. And we feel we nailed it. We have something very unique with our programming. The entire show takes place in the fictitious county of Sweet Swine County. Unfortunately, nothing happens in old Sweet Swine County, so they have to talk about in our talk shows what's happening outside the county. There's the rub. Uh, Garrison Keeler meets Andy and Mayberry. <laughs> okay. And uh, uh, that has been uh, turned into a very popular uh, way to show it. And I think if people think it's kind of silly and ridiculous, it is. But when they watch it in its entirety, you'll find there's a lot of information about a lot of different towns in, done in what we'd like to think is a fun and entertaining way. That's right. It is. I've done a couple of those every once in a while. And you did a great job. Oh, well, thank you. I, to have you on. And, you know, at first it's kind of nerve-wracking, but once you get there, it's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> you guys <laughs> make it a good time. <laughs> well, we definitely have a fun group uh, that's involved. There's nine staff people now and 52 volunteers to put the show together. And they're all people that believe very strongly in our small towns and that we need to show the rest of the country what is in these towns and how much we have as these small communities to offer. Well, that's a great thing for us. Is it, it gets information about Emmitsburg out to many, many places. You Absolutely. say like a million two? Points? Our viewership right now is a million two, between a million two and a million three uh, on television. Uh, the website gets about 4,500 hits a day. Uh, and the, the television show in particular, it's growing, it has almost doubled the viewership in the last six months. And I look for it to do about the same in the next six mm -hmm. with the direction that it's going. Uh, because it is different and uh, does draw attention to it because it's, it's different than most things out there. Kind of one of those things, great things come from small beginnings. You did it just as a... Um a way to keep advertising going in your own town of Fairmont, right? That, that's correct. We wanted to promote Fairmont and promote our businesses in Fairmont, and so we decided to do this uh, program, uh, which we did. We aired it locally, and once it hit the internet, towns from all over started to contact us and say, this is very unique. Can you do this for our town? So we got together as a small group and figured out a way to make that happen. And now we're promoting 90 towns with a population of less than 15,000. And uh, our goal is to uh, select the towns that we think best represent small town living. Emmitsburg, like I was saying, is a prime example. You have unique businesses, uh, uh, unique festivals. Uh, it, it's just, it, for us, it was a no-brainer in, in a town that we wanted to spotlight. And, of course, I am familiar with Emerson. Oh, that's very sure you are. <laughs> Growing up in New Hampshire. You bet. <laughs> that's right. Anyway, well, okay, well, we have the Our Story progr um, program, and there's a number of fun, um, different shows on there. Why don't you tell us about a couple of the new ones? Well, a couple of the things uh, that we do that you would see in our magazine as well as on television, we have uh, talk shows as well as uh, old, uh, spoofs on soap operas. Uh, one of our shows is like Regis and Kelly, if you've seen Regis and Kelly before. Only ours is called the Cockleburn Morning Show, where we weed out the big stories throughout Sweet Swine County. 
Cute. So that, that's been words. very fun. <laughs> and our soap opera has been extremely popular. Our soap, oh, As the Corn Grows. Uh, the, and it covers the lives of the people who live in Sweet Swine County. And it's a spoof on soap operas. And we have received national attention for that soap opera, which we're, we're in bigger shock than our viewers are. You know, <laughs> uh, because again, all of the actors and all the people that are involved in the production are these volunteers that believe in our small towns. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Okay, let's talk about the website. Sure. The website, uh, you'll find when you go to that, all of the towns, including Emmitsburg, are on the website. Each community has their own page. Okay. okay? On that page, you'll see all the videos that we do about your community. There's a nice story about Emmitsburg, a link to the chamber and city websites, and then a slideshow of a variety of the businesses intermixed with a high points of, of the town. And we will continue, and there's all the videos we've done so far in your community, we'll continue to add videos to that about your community. Um, now let's talk about the magazine. This is something really new. This is very new. Uh, we have a magazine now. It comes out every other month. It's called The Road to Our Story. It also features those same talents that are featured in, in the television show, uh, in a little more depth sometimes, and a little more involvement as far as different stories. Not all the stories will be in, in, on television. Some will be wrote directly for the magazine or directly for the television show. So it's another way that we can present the businesses, the things that are happening in your community. Now, I'm in, I've been in MS for the last couple of days. I've already found enough stories uh, that we could have a full-time, as you know, a full-time show on just Palo Alto County and Emmitsburg. Well, why not? Let's do that. <laughs> Let's do that. I like that. I think we should. Uh, but there is, as you know, in all of these communities, there is a lot going on. Most people think our communities are dying and there's nothing here. We're here to prove that's just not true. Now, we're not naive to say there aren't some problems in all of our communities. However, there's a lot going on and we want to show people why to come to Emmitsburg, why to come to these small towns, because there's shopping, there's entertainment, there's events, there's festivals, and every single town that we're covering, no matter what the size, we're constantly amazed at how much is going on in that town, and we want to get that out to the folks. Sometimes, you know, when you live here, you forget just what is going on. So it's nice to have somebody from out of town, such as yourself, come in and just, you know, make you think about things and it gives you a new perspective kind of to what you do have because you just forget, you know, after over time that what we have here is very special and we need to uh, show that to everybody well, else. And I, I think all of us that live in small towns, you, you, you kind of, when you lose a business or lose a retail business or any kind of business at all, it, it's obviously a, a, a sad thing and you don't want to see that happen. But if you, when you're from the communities, if you look at what's there, like I see Emmitsburg, or I see these towns I go to, I'm like, my gosh, look at that. That's an incredible business. That's an incredible thing going on in that town. When you're local, sometimes you forget that. That's Because right. you, you see it every day. When someone's coming to the community, they're amazed at your community. And your community, and I, like you said, I grew up in Ayrshire. So I've, I've known Emmitsburg my entire life. I'm impressed what I see the growth and what's been happening in the last five, ten years in coming to just visit Emmitsburg. You can tell that there's progress and things are going in the right direction. Despite the problems that all of us have in these small towns, there is growth and there is uh, opportunity in Emmitsburg as well as the other towns. That's right, and I'm glad we have the opportunity to talk about it uh, with, through your program. Um, the, the little fun things, you know, some people have said they look at it as kind of silly and kind of corny and they don't know if they really like it, but once you start watching it, you get hooked right. onto it. And the information you're giving out about touring and visiting the towns is very true. It's very, um, it's not that it's serious business because we have fun That's presenting right. it, but um, it's, it's... We true. handle it's every community way. and every event and every business with respect. Now, the people introducing it might be zany because we want people to watch and have fun watching it. And even if they watch and go, this is just crazy stuff. But boy, did I learn a lot about Emmitsburg right. today you know, or, or whatever community it is. That's the goal of the show. Okay. Well, we thank you for being here today. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah. We want to thank you for joining us today while we visit with Jeff Rouse. And we hope that you'll watch our story on 
it was Burke's Chamber Channel 3 TV. It's our local access Mediacom channel. And it's at 8.30 in the morning and again at 5.30 in the evening. And uh, you'll see all about Emmitsburg and other surrounding towns and the things that they have to offer in, uh, for tourism and places to visit. So we thank you again for being here. This has been brought to you by the Emmitsburg Chamber of Commerce, where we are working to make our town a better place to live, work, and play. Thank you.